be game. Let me gang gang. I'm so fresh, yeah. Yo, what's the deal fam? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, today we have that Chipotle and that Qdoba. First time trying it out. <laughs> yes, you guys. Our first time trying Qdoba. We had Chipotle plenty of times, but we got a couple of comments um, saying that we should try Qdoba. And we thought, why not do a comparison since they're kind of like the same thing. Yep. Even the guy at Qdoba, I was like, it's my first time. He was like, it's just like Chipotle. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Um, so yeah, you guys, we got a burrito from Qdoba. And then we got... Um, a burrito bowl. A burrito bowl from Chipotle. We got some taco shells from Chipotle. Our cheese. And um, we just got the container from Chipotle. Just for aesthetic reasons. Um, guacamole. And then the sauces. And then some sauces that Qdoba offers. And yeah. some lettuce on the side. I want to try it. those sauces over there. They yeah. looking mighty tasty from Qdoba. <laughs> and then we got some um, the beans on the side because Babe doesn't really like Chipotle's beans. So we could just got them on the side. And then I'm drinking sparkling water. Babe's drinking the same thing. Let's get into prayer so we can see how this food All tastes. Right. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this food that you blessed us with. Bless the hands of prepared, Lord, in your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Where should I start? Where can yeah. I go? Who I think we should start I with... Run to? I think we should start with um, Qdoba Qu Q Q first because we already know how Chipotle tastes. All right, let me get my little... Mm. It Ooh. smells a little different. Oh, and also I want to let you guys know Qdoba offers um, impossible meat as their substitute. And Chipotle has, um, uh, what is it? Chorizo? No. So, so Frida. So Frida's, there you go. Yeah, so. Are we trying it with, what were we just trying to regular without the. Yeah, we could try it by itself. You guys, I got, um, white rice and brown rice in here. It looks like Spanish rice, but it's brown rice. And got some, I think it's refried beans, lettuce, some seasoned, like, uh, veggies and corn. And then the impossible meat. We like some mix of rice over there. I know. All right, let's go ahead and try it. One, two, and three. I don't know if it's because of the impossible, but it definitely tastes different than Chipotle. It's mm -hmm. seasoned different, and it's really lemony. Mmm. Mmm. Let me try it with some of this sauce now. Well, I like this. Hold on, let's see what it's really like. I should have got more sauces. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. This sauce kind of tastes like Chipotle. With this what? green one. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me try that green one. Mm -hmm. Let me see this one. You definitely should have got some more sauces. Um, and also... To mention, Qdoba gives you a free, a free um, guacamole. In Chipotle, I think theirs is like a dollar ninety. Mmm, this is good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. This one doesn't taste nothing like Chipotle. Let me see what they red sauce tasting like. The spicy one. Yeah, this green one right here is spicy. The first green one I had was super mild. Mm. Okay, I'm digging the um. I'm digging um Qdoba stuff for real, I for am. real. Woo! If you guys want our cheese recipe, um, we'll leave an I card right here mm. and a link down below. Mm. Mm. Dope is bomb. This is good. Mm. All right, let me put this down real quick. <laughs> let me put that down. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Qdoba. I wasn't expecting that. That's what it is. Excuse me. Woo. Qdoba's is bomb. 
You ain't lying. Let me eat a little salad to refresh my palate for his um. Hey, I don't even want to put this down. What are you talking about? <clears throat> well, you stupid. For real. Let me get some of that um. Mm. Yeah. Let me get some. Let me taste that guac from um. Oh yeah, let me see if it's different. Taste that guac. Cause they giving it away for free. I mean, it is smaller, but that's why it's free. Look at this big old thing from um Chipotle. Looks like regular guac. Oh, oh, me, oh, um... oh. Did y'all hear some Spanish um restaurants are like making their guacamole out of? I'm gonna get, make me a little bowl. Making um making their guacamole out of like mixing it with. I think it's, I forgot, some kind of squash. It's like a green squash. So they're not really giving you um, all of guacamole, I mean avocado, because I guess there's like a shortage on avocado. Really? Did y'all hear that? My yeah, first time I, hearing it right now. Yeah, I was watching the news and they were talking about it. And they said a lot of people don't even notice the difference. So, let's not be that bad. No, I'm a real guacamole head. I mean, yeah, you, would prob you would probably notice. Off top, I don't know. I'm gonna put this down there so they can see my. Um, I'm gonna just putting a little bit. You know what I mean? I think they're switching it up a little bit, just so they can. No, you can put that down. You holding it like you lost your best friend. Let me see that. Um, let me see one of those sparks over there, please. Now you're ready to taste Chipotle, even though we know what it tastes like, but yeah, I just we ain't tasted it with both of them in the same place. Mm. I'm putting my stuff on there, y'all. Because they does not like Chipotle beans. It's not that I don't like them. They just get me so gassy, like. Yeah, like, than any other beans. Like, I don't know what it is. Do they rinse their beans? Do they clean them? Or... <clears throat> It gave me super gassy, like, terrible, terrible gas. Yeah, it really does. Okay, y'all, this is Chipotle's bowl. Go ahead and get it. Mm -hmm. mm, I know. I already know what they're both tasting like. Chipotle is really good, you guys, but... Qdoba, that burrito, mmm. Mm, baby, I don't know. I was expecting to just be like, oh, this tastes the same. Mm. But I'm gonna make me a taco. Oh, and. Do we have, let me see a fork for the, the guac. Um, I think the fork's are over there. Or use this one. I'll use this. Um, we ordered chips and guac, but they left out our chips. Don't y'all hate when y'all order something and they forget to put it? I mean, I. I know we can check, but you just like, dang, don't forget it. And then they charge you for it. You're charging me for something. I want mine. I want everything. All right. I'm going to dress this up because I know how Chipotle tastes. So I'm just about to put everything in here. Mm -hmm. Whoever um, told us to try Qdoba, thank you so much because I actually never even heard of it. And it is really good, and I definitely will be back there. Mm. It's more flavorful than Chipotle. It tastes, um, the seasons they use are a lot better. That's what this thicken. Mm. <laughs> you got that taco, man? Let me get me a taco. You look good. You just been into that thing and just, um, mm. Y'all heard that ASMR? For real. Mm. You give me a taco, fam. Oh, but Chipotle does give you free taco shells. Actually, they limited to three taco shells now. Um, but Qdoba charges three, and you pay a dollar fifteen, I think, something like that. So for three, so for three shells from Qdoba is um a dollar fifteen. Mm-hmm. And Chipotle just give them out like here you go. Mm -hmm. I paid at Chipotle for the so for the Sofrita um, bowl and chips and guac. I paid twelve dollars and twenty one cents. And I can't find the Qdoba um, receipt, but I paid ten dollars, and that burrito? was just for the burrito. And then I got free guac. 
So, oh. it was roughly around the same. But taste wise, taste wise, Qdoba is killing it. Oops, mm. before I even do that, mm. some of this red. <laughs> I like um, Chipo I like Chipotle sauce or red sauce better than um, Kidobas because oh really I like the spice. Oh, it's not spicy. No, it's not that spicy for me. <laughs> they both good though. If you buy one of them, get get one of them. They both good. I'm good on my face. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is really good. Yeah. I like Chipotle. I can't front, but Cadoba is really, um... They stepped it up with the seasoning. Yeah, they season is a little bit better. Chipotle is more on the plain side. That food we tell you guys is all about seasoning. Um, Speaking just, about seasoning. Just by, just by looking. Um, mm. Just by looking at Qdoba and Chipotle, you would think, excuse me. Oh, it tastes the same. Oh, it's the same thing, but. There's some differences. Se seasonings is totally different. And like Babe said, speaking of seasonings, <laughs> we've been getting a couple of comments saying that it's just people like passing through. They'll say something like, why do you guys um, call it this? Or why do you guys, like basically, like, why do you guys call jackfruit chicken or cauliflower chicken or whatever? Um, like, what's another thing that they kind of say? Let's say that. Yeah, pretty much that. Like, why do we, if we're vegan, why do we um, try to emulate, imitate the same as, like, non-vegan foods? And to answer that, um, like we were saying, everything is about seasoning. If you season something, like, um, let's say if I make something with the same seasons as a traditional chicken, and I season up my fried cauliflower the same way, it's going to taste similar to the real chicken because of the seasonings. It might not have the exact same texture, but it's going to have the same seasonings. It's going to taste the same. Yeah, it's going to taste exactly the same. For sure. And, a lot, and it's like, oh, a lot of people, I didn't even know what jackfruit was. And so, babe, introduced me to it like, oh, this is jackfruit. What do we, jackfruit? Mm -hmm. What's that? So, it's like, just saying the same names that people were familiar with, like chicken. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm glad you said that. Thanks for that. I'm sorry the airplane's going by. <laughs> but yeah, like Babe said, some people will say, why don't you guys just call it jackfruit? Or why don't you guys just call it fried cauliflower? Because when you're trying to, um, when you're trying to like reach a mass audience, like he said, people don't know what jackfruit is. People don't know what, sometimes people don't even know what quinoa is. Like, you have to use words that people are familiar with to get your point across. And that's why, excuse me, that's why we do it. And that's why a lot of companies do it. You see people are doing the cauliflower rice or cauliflower mashed potatoes. That's what they're calling it. They're not just saying mashed up cauliflower. <laughs> because it's not appealing. Not at and all. And people don't probably... Hey, you want some of this mashed up cauliflower? <laughs> what? Hell no! <laughs> Yeah, like, it's the same with any diet. It's not just vegan. People rename things on the keto diet. Everything. I didn't think I had to explain that, but we're getting those questions more and more as our channel is growing. So, that's the reason why we use, like, familiar names with products that aren't the traditional product. Mm. Let me go back to the burrito. I had enough of you, Chipotle. So, 
I ain't going. I didn't go inside when Babe ordered from neither one of these places. But how was the customer service from Qdoba and Chipotle? Um, Chipotle would have great customer service. They were really nice. They were busy, like really busy and working fast. And I feel like you. Um, sorry, something. I feel like you see the best customer service when the place is busy. Yeah. How they crack under pressure. Was both both places was busy, you said? No. So, I was going to say, Chipotle was very busy, and they still were very, very nice, very uh, appeasing, everything. They were asking questions, not rushing me, anything. So, Chipotle gets an um, A for customer service. What about um, Qdoba? I'm trying to remember. It was one guy. They weren't busy at all. I, they didn't have bad customer service. It was just like, oh, whatever. Excuse me. Sorry, man. It wasn't. No, you're fine. It, it wasn't good or bad. It was just like, whatever. Like I told y'all, when I told him it was my first time, I mean, I feel like he probably could have been like, oh, well, we have this, this, and that. Instead, he was just like, well, it's just like Chipotle. He's <laughs> like, okay. Man, yeah. It's my first time. Oh, it's like Chipotle. Right. Like, don't ask me no questions. What if I said I've never been to Chipotle? Huh. Mmm. 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 Oh, look at that. Mmm. It's so good. Oh, wrong sauce. I thought you liked that one better. What? Yeah, but I want to mix. I want to put it with the the actual thing it goes with. Mm-hmm. Babe's weird like that, y'all. He likes sauces to go with the company that it came from or the restaurant that it came from. He don't really like to mix them. He said it goes with the food that it comes with. Mm-hmm. Mm. But sometimes I use sauces that's from other like Hispanic places. It don't go with their food. Hmm. It seems like the, the people, um, like, say if I go to, a, like, let's say if I go to, um, like, a street tacos place, and I go to, like, a Chipotle. Like, if you're trying to use the street taco place with Chipotle, it ain't going to taste right. Yeah. Well, I don't think Chipotle is, like, authentic. Vice versa, food. though. If you use a Chipotle sauce on a street tacos, it's not going to taste right. Yeah. So... Chipotle is not even authentic. I feel like Qdoba tastes more authentic than Chipotle. Yeah. It's sure. not it's not as authentic either, but it definitely leans more towards the authentic side. Let me mm. see this fab. Mm. Mm. I'm in full now. Mm, mm, mm. That was really good. Mm. Um, we got a surprise. We didn't even know that Q Double was um, offering Impossible Meat for the. I did not know. I had no idea. I didn't know that they offered um, Impossible. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Not even that. I just thought Impossible had nothing but like burgers. I didn't yeah. know they had like ground meat, up, like ground meat. Yeah, me neither. Have you guys ever had Qdoba? Let me see that green sauce over there. Or which, what's closer to you, Qdoba or Chipotle? No, not that one. Which one? That oh, bomb one. <laughs> that one is good. Dang, fam, I'm just thinking right now, I forgot to give you guys a close-up. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to we get a close-up. Dang. Sorry, you guys. What happens when you come home and you get to put your whole set up, you feel me, and then... You find out that they didn't put your chips in the bag. <laughs> it, it dampered our mood. We were like, dang. I was about to call it there bang on them. <laughs> now it's playing. Mm. I am calling after this video. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I want my chips. Mm. You got to get a family like pricing and all that? Yeah. Chipotle was $12 with the chips. Chips and guac, I and mean, then Q double is ten dollars with just a burrito. Hmm. 
うん I don't know if it would have been cheaper without the Beyond. I don't well, know. Without the, what do you mean? Without the Beyond Crumble. I mean, not Beyond, Impossible. Oh, I'm gonna like, what are you talking about? I don't know if it would have been cheaper without the Impossible Crumble. That's about to be my last bite, fam, because your I'm boy cool. is smacked. This is really good. I'm glad we got to try Qdoba finally. I've been wanting to try them since. Excuse me, somebody mentioned it in the comments and I looked it up and I was like, ooh, it's like Chipotle. But definitely give it a try. It's much more flavorful than Chipotle. <coughs> ooh, excuse me. You guys are too late. We already ate it. It's my dogs over here. <laughs> if y'all don't get a bottle here trying to bark at people. No barking, guys. I'm full. You good, babe? I kind of want to make another taco, though. <laughs> that was good. Mm. Wait, but you scraped up all the cheese. That's mm. what I was going to make it with. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So before we end out this video, I'm going to go ahead and do comment of the day. And my comment goes to Michelle Morris. She says, congratulations on your second natural anniversary. It is awesome. Uh, <clears throat> it is awesome that your daughter played a role in your decision. Five years and going strong here. Congratulations to you as well. Both you ladies' hair is beautiful. Love your videos and your daughter's riddle segment. Too funny. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Michelle. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate all you guys' comments. We love you guys so much. So this was our review. I'm not even going to make that taco. I'm full. This was our review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. We like to show you guys new places that you guys could possibly try and have an option while you're out or going out with friends, family, etc. Hope you all enjoyed it. If y'all did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that post notification bell. That way you know whenever we're posting a new video. And also turn on... Did I say? Yeah, turn on the post notification bells, y'all. I'm a little sleepy too. I'm tired. I've been working hard. So forgive me for that. But we love you guys and we'll talk to you later. Peace.